free space management whenever a new file is created depending on its space requirement we need to allocate free disk blocks for that file for this the system should keep track of the list of free blocks available the system maintains a free space list which records all the free blocks which are not allocated to some file or directory. Now, which are the different ways to implement the free space list? One way to implement it is by using bit vector or bit map. Here, we reserve a set of bits such that each bit corresponds to each disk block. If the block is allocated, then the bit value is 0. Here, all the 8 blocks are allocated, hence each bit is 0. Then block 8 and block 9 are allocated, the bit value is 0. And if the block is unallocated, if the block is free, then the bit value is 1. We are looking for a free block and for the free block the value is 1 and for the allocated block the value is 0. Here we have a set of 32 blocks and the bitmap for it is this. The main advantage of this method is that it's a simple implementation and how to find the free block, how to find the first free block using the bitmap. To find the first free block using the bitmap, scan each word of the bitmap. Let each word in the bitmap is equal to a set of 8 bits. Each set of 8 bits corresponds to one word of the bitmap. Scan each word of the bitmap and find the first non-zero word. If a word is all zero, it means all the disk blocks corresponding to it are allocated. Then this is the first non-zero word. Now to find the offset of this word with respect to the bitmap use this equation. Number of bits in a word into the number of zero words prior to it. The number of zero words prior to it is 1. In this case it is 1 and the number of bits in a word is 8. Hence 8 into 1, 8. It will give the offset of this word with respect to the bitmap. Now scan this first non-zero word for the first bit 1 or the first non-zero bit and get its offset. Here the offset of the first non-zero bit is 0, 1, 2 and add that offset value to this value. Hence the value is 8 into 1 plus 2 which equals 10. Thus block 10 is the first free block available. In this way we can get the first free block using the bitmap method or if there are contiguous set of ones we can get a set of free blocks too. And one problem with the bit vector implementation of free space list is that here for each disk block we are having a representation in the bitmap and to take advantage of the bitmap we should bring it to the main memory and update it to the disk as and when required and since each disk block is having a bit reserved it will consume if the number of disk blocks is small or if the size of disk is small then it will consume a considerable amount of space in the main memory memory. Another method of implementation is by using a linked list. Here we keep a pointer to the first free block available in a special location on the disk and caching it to the main memory. And this free block contains a pointer to the next free block and so on. This free block will contain a pointer to the next free block and it will be continued. Thus, all the free blocks are linked together. With this method, it is difficult to traverse the list since we should read each disk block and get the pointer to the next block. But rarely the system needs to traverse the list. In most cases, what the system needs will be a free block. Thus, 
allocate the first free block and update the free space head to the next free block. For every free block request, thus the first block is allocated. Only if it needed to travel the list, in such case, the system is inefficient.